The engineering field requires the testing of multiple possible designs. In the past, engineers would create physical prototypes to do calculations for different designs. Nowadays, computational fluid dynamics developers like Dr. Oliver Oxtoby are able to generate numerical algorithms that are used as predictive tools in the field. This enables them to do numerous tests far cheaper than before and with more accurate results. I'm an applied mathematician. I work in the field of computational fluid dynamics. And what we do is to develop tools that industry can use to simulate the, the complex flow of fluids and thereby um, come up with more efficient designs. When I came to CSR, I worked on a project uh, modeling the so-called fuel sloshing for um, aircraft company Airbus. The aim of the project was to simulate the flow of fuel inside the aircraft wings. Um, a very large mass of fuel is stored inside the wings um, and the better that uh, the, its behaviour is understood, the more optimally the wing structures can be designed. Career satisfaction for me um, comes from the intellectual stimulation of getting a new puzzle, a new challenge every day and also of seeing these applied in, in the real world. Um, so it's really never a dull moment. Our aim is to allow industry to come up with more efficient, safer designs at a lower cost. So we hope to make a difference by allowing South African industry to be more competitive and produce more efficient designs than that of their competitors. It's always necessary in the job of an engineer to make intelligent approximations. Um, and in the aerospace industry, it's a very conservative industry. Um, one makes approximations and then over designs around that. Um, but our aim is always to come up with more efficient designs, um, lighter aircraft that burn less fuel. And so the more accurately we can model what goes on uh, inside and around the aircraft, um, the more efficient design we can come up with. I think a common misconception about applied mathematicians is that they sit behind their desk all day solving equations. Um, but really it's very important for us to make connections with industry um, and to really try and bridge the gap between the mathematical equations we do and their practical applications in real life. My advice to someone who wants to pursue a career in computational fluid dynamics um, is to focus on uh, maths and physics at school, um, go on to study subjects like mechanical engineering, physics or applied maths at university. And my advice would be to find a niche that you enjoy and are excited about and really pursue that. Um, because it's a bit of a paradox, but um, the more of an expert you are in a particular area on the world stage, the bigger the market for your work is going to be compared to being a jack of all trades. What I enjoy most about working at the CSR is um, having a balance between, on the one hand, being able to research uh, blue sky ideas, and on the other hand, having the opportunity to see those ideas come to fruition in the real world.